Good morning, Israel. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> good morning, good morning. It's your brother JD Nyjah. Don't mind the hair and the scare. Ah! Um, damn. You know what I noticed? Sometimes. through whatever mechanism it is where um, I have to put up a few videos that are just teachings and this and that. Before I get started, all praise and honor to our Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit, the true three witnesses of, of the Holy Bible um, through the water and the blood. Um, <laughs> I do a bunch of, um, teaching videos and then, um, I start meditating and I forget to wipe my storage clean so that my videos don't stop right in the middle. And I don't know if, I don't know if Esau listens and when I start going into, um, more interesting, uh, topic where I'm I've actually thought something through and have uh, I'm trying to make a, a solid point about something that's been brewing you know I've been steering it up steering it up and finally I'm like gonna serve you something um, you know you, you watch me you watch me cook it up you watch me do the you actually help chop something because you're chopping it up in your mind and, and these vibrations are going out and it's finally ready and we're about ready to eat and then they I start serving the plates and I realize there's no there's no clean dishes or something like that that's a, the analogy I have so I just was going into and I had a pretty good opening I had it going I was rolling because this is a very interesting subject and I went into some pretty good analogies and um, my mind was and the spirit were working together but here I am I'm gonna do it again try not to <laughs> freak out on the hair I'll try and get it so it's like just freaky enough to to be good but anyhow um, oh, how, where do I start again okay I was talking about um, these camps, these GMS camps, and um, what this, what I, my, my opinion on what's going on here with um, GMS. So, um, I think what what's going on is these 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 guys are um, some kind of operation. And it, what makes me believe that, I'll go into some of the things, you know, the point I brought up in the first video that, that didn't get, <laughs> did take, when you think about military operations, you think about um, uh, tanks and bombs and, and uh, people killing each other and shooting each other. But if you really look back on um, the way military operations work in the world is a lot of it has to do with... Um, propaganda and and tricking people into submitting and that's basically what the US has done throughout the world is we don't we don't necessarily um, want to go kill people we want to um, go in and say we're killing people and kill some people and cause just enough havoc so that we can integrate into that society and put our um, our wicked themes in their mind there are wicked philosophies so when you think about that you think about the movie like robin williams um good morning vietnam he was some famous i forget what they called the operation it was it was a woman's name you know it was um saigon sally or something like that and 
the operation was designed to um, put ideas out into the the um, communities that this was going on, that that was going on, that we think this way, that we think that way, that we're doing this, we're doing that. And a lot of it wasn't true at all. It was just propaganda. It was just to create a mindset. And if, and see, that's the one thing that they don't want us to know. And that's, and I could bring it into what, what's happening right now. Um, they're inundating us with propaganda and um, the one the the issue I brought up in the first video that got cut off was um, a good example of it. Now, if you can um, follow me on this, is the MAGA movement, this uh, Make America Great Again, and this Trump Red Camp um, mind hypnotism or or whatever you might call it. It's a, it's a psychological operation. So what they did is they put out this, um, what did they, what did they call it? Um, oh geez, Slakia. Oh, you know, where they, where they came up with all these themes for Republican mindset, um, this conservative, patriotic um, uh, stirring up of, of that side that's that's why all those people went to the Capitol was because of um, damn how does that slip my mind it was such a big operation that they did it wasn't MAGA it was called I think you know what I'm talking about I'm, I, I, it's, it'll slip my mind but when I get to it so these people were, um, through the internet with agents, they were um, brought into this these belief systems that, um, and some of it might be true, and that's what's weird about it, this thing that the Democrats were drinking blood and, and um, they had child molestation um, networks throughout the world. Um God, I'm surprised I can't remember that, what that little movement was where everyone was, um, went into this, um, mass psychosis that, of beliefs that they are still in the election and we need to fight because if the Democrats take over, it's the world's going to end. But anyway, that's just an example of, of how they use media and propaganda to, um, flush people out. So what they did with that capital thing was it, it was an obvious psyop. They were trying to find out who these um, rebels were, these patriotic rebels that um, were willing to take arms against the country to get what they wanted. These white supremacist, mostly um, types. And, and that's why you see so many, um, of the people that were convicted, they were actually military. And so they're, they're, they play up this, this stuff and they go, Oh yeah, these were military people. They were, um, disgruntled military and this and that. But that being said, this, this video isn't even coming out like, like the last one, but I'm going to keep going and hope the spirit jumps on me again. I have a hard time doing things twice because I start thinking about what I said in the last video. And it's like, that's not a good way to try and do it. So I'm going to get back to the point of the matter is these camps, these camps, 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 these GMS camps, these guys on the corner, these black Hebrew Israelite dudes. I first started noticing something was odd because in different brothers videos, you would hear the beeping of the smoke detector in the background. Beep. And I started mentioning it because it was distracting. And I think that might have been a way to flush people like me out that are paying attention, that are actually paying attention. Because I started saying, dude, 
you can do all these fancy videos with all this editing and, and you know the Bible, but you can't change a fucking smoke detector battery. And so I'd say that to one and then I'd hear it in another video and I'd say the same thing. Brother, change that battery. It's a nine volt. It's not that hard. Get a, get a chair, get a nine volt and fix your thing because it's distracting your smoke detector. So um, I know it sounds crazy, but that might be some of the ways that they um, pinpointed people who were actually paying attention. And if they brought it up there, they'd be like, well, this, this person's not just watching for entertainment. They're trying to listen and they're hearing the smoke detector and it set them off because people that are truly listening don't want to be distracted. So that being said, um, then it went to the fact that, um, they were all over the place. And when you look at, um, the number of GMS camps, camps, there's a bunch of them in the South. There's some in California. There's, there's one up by Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg is a military base. There's one in San Diego. There's a military base there. See, I'm, I, what made me think about it was these guys that are in California. I was like, okay, where am I going to, um, where am I going to go meet up with these GMS guys and say, Hey, I'm one of you, but I'm, I'm not black, but sorry, I'm, I am Israel. And I was careful not to jump in too soon and to watch before I did that. And it came apparent to me that these Negroes don't like white people at all. Even, even though they espouse the speckled bird, um, Israelite foreigner mindset, that it, that they we're going to come from all nations. I don't see any Chinese people. I don't see any Japanese people in their camps. I don't even see Native Americans or Latinos. It's all I guess, black people. Black. I mean, and I don't mean to use that as a as a Negro thing. I'm saying they're black. They're dark. They're darkness. I don't want to go there. I don't want to start being like that anyway, because I don't want to go down to their level. But the point I'm making is um, the camps, the camps. So they have a bunch in Missouri. They have them in um, Inland Empire. We have a huge military base out there um, in the Inland Empire, um, Moreno Valley. It's an Air Force base. So I started thinking, these guys, these guys are agents. These guys are military because... Um, a lot of them are super, super intelligent. They're like the 136 and over IQ. I can tell because I am that. I tested out at 138 and I know another super intelligent person when I, when I hear one. And so I started thinking... Why would someone that smart do something like that? It's because that's their mission. They have a job. They're getting paid to do these things. And you never hear these people talk about their life. And I, granted, my life has turned into this Bible thing. And they probably knew that. There's something that they know that we don't know that this Hebrew, this the Israelites are going to stand up just like they say, they say it all the time. They're going to, we're going to stand on our feet to, per the, um, Ezekiel, the, the dry bones are going to come together and we're going to stand up and, and everyone was afraid. And so they're actually the ones that are afraid and they're trying to get ahead of it. And being, I'm one of the first fruits, I'm right there with them because they know this is the time that it's going to happen. And they know they have very little time, so they're they're out here pushing. And so what I did was when I started to be suspicious of that, I looked into camp in the Bible. And camp in the Bible is mostly regarding Old Testament um, tabernacle was called 
the camp. And the camp was, the tabernacle was made like a square, four sides, and each side had three tribes. So in the last video, I went into this, and um, if you want to study more on um, the tabernacle and the 12 tribes and the, the number three, there's a reason why there's four sides and three per side, but it's... um. It's a deep teaching, and, and if you want to really dig in, you could dig in on that. But, um, so I tried to find out why they were using the word camp and if there was any biblical significance to that. And, of course, they know that um, that they could, they could fight you scripturally on camp. Because it's it's scriptural. They they called it the camp, the tabernacle, right? So I looked into that and I'm like, fuck, there's nothing there. These guys, like, if I if I try and fight them on that, even though they they won't they won't answer you anyway. It's like even if there was something there, and I brought something up, there was. It doesn't really fit for today's reality, this camp thing that they're doing, so. I've been I've been mulling that over. I've been stirring up this pot of food um, for a while now, and you you know that if you've been here for any length of time, I'm I'm I've been chopping carrots and potatoes, and you know we're trying to get this um, meal served. And um, I think I I think I <laughs> I pretty much have found it. You're gonna you're gonna trip on this. So I looked up the word. Let me see how much time I have. I got plenty. This might be a two parter. Just because it's pretty interesting, and I want to make sure that um, that everyone gets a plate and a full plate. So I looked up the origins of the word camp, and there was some very interesting stuff. You you might want to look into it yourself because I don't have all that fancy technology to to pull all this stuff up so you can see it for yourself. But you can do the study yourself. Just pull up um, the origins of the word camp. So the first part thing that I found was an open space for military operations. An open space for military operations. So these corners, these highways and byways that they talk about, the biblical highways and byways, do you think they didn't um, suss this stuff out? So what they did is they found men that were already... Um, <clears throat> knowledgeable in the Bible. <clears throat> they probably tested people out on <clears throat> biblical theology, just like a just like a seminary school would. You sit down and you take the test. And that way you could say that you know the things that most people know. And then what they do is they bring in this Hebrew Israelite um, thought process and twist it all up so that um, true Hebrew Israelites like myself or other tr Hebrew Israelites um, get drawn away from the truth and turn militant. And then what they do is they're probably going to come in and try and um, um, do an operation against the true Hebrew Israelites. They're doing the same thing that they did to those MAGA people, those those conservative, patriot, over the top, hypnotized, uh, mind controlled people. You know they they found out who these people were, and they now they know who's thinking that way. So I've I I'm already on their radar for sure because I'm up in their face, and vocab Malone and some of these other camps are just. I'm not sure. And that's what makes it so confusing is it, it goes, you know, Sakari means fucking knife murderer, you know. And, um, and that attracts a certain type because I know in my spirit, I, I always have these visions that I'm going to have 
huge swords in my hand. And when it comes time to reap, I'm going to join the angels in separating the wheats from the tares. So when they come up with the Sakari idea, and it goes all the way back to biblical times, it's biblical. Um, the Sakari thought that it was time to reap, but it wasn't. It wasn't time. So back then they were um, actually confused and they, it might have been a, the same thing back then. The same psyop is they convinced these these zealots to take up the sword. So I know I'm at some point I am going to take up the sword because the evil has to be destroyed and I'm going to be a part of that. But that being said, they're playing on all these... They're, it's basically like the Bible says, you're going to come back. There's nothing new under the sun. And I would get some scriptures, but I want to, yeah, I'm not going to, it's an Ecclesiastes. But anyway, it, there's nothing new. It's everything just rehashes over in this world. We're, we're living in a, um, in the Lord's play it's his theater right so it's like open space for military operations a place where an army lodges temporarily so the other thing that I noticed about these these videos these sit downs that they have they are in these houses that have zero womanly touch. Zero womanly touch. There's no women around anywhere. There's never, I mean, they talk about women being good servants and, and being a helpmate and all that. Well, if they're such, if they're such awesome men of the Lord, where's their bitching ass, Eve women um, walking up and, and sending some food down for these niggas. Where's the, where's the pretty pictures and, and nice furniture that a woman would want? There's nothing like that. These places are like barracks. Check it out. Watch some of the videos. Every time, and it's the sa it looks like the same color. There's never anything domesticated in any of their videos. It's it's a bunch of men. So the, uh, the other thing that I pulled up, this is another interesting aspect. Makes you wonder. They talk down women all the time and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Camp. Tasteless. Homo slang. Campy. Campy. Um, um, poser. I should have wrote this on something else. So it's... What's it say? Friend camper. Friendly camper poser. Um, yeah, that's homo slang. Camp. These guys are campy. That's why they wear the dresses. <laughs> but seriously, um, a military camp or bivouac, so I'm still going into the word camp, is a semi-permanent base for an army. Camps are erected when a military force travels away from a major installation or fort during operations. So if they're leaving the base and going to camp, it sounds like they're leaving the major installation or fort 
to travel to these camps. And if you notice the way they protect each other, um, it's just like soldiers protecting each other. So I'm I'm gonna um, what would you say? I'm going to withdraw myself from these agents and I'm probably going to just, I don't know what I'm going to do yet as far as, as fighting back against these guys because I don't like it and the Lord probably has given me this to tell me just leave them the fuck alone. You're going to get sucked into their game and I might, it might already be too late for me because I've um, exposed myself, but the Lord won't let anything wicked happen to me. So I'm going to just open and see what we got and then we'll, um, we'll close out. Let me see how much time I got. 26. Um, what I think I'll do is I'll turn it off right now and find some scriptures on um, infiltrators um, and false prophets, and then I'll come back with some scriptures, and we'll talk about a little bit about scripturally what these, what the Lord has to say about these devils. All right, okay. Um, again, thanks for being here. Yeah. You're not going to find, well, I mean, you might, I don't know who's out there, um, actually being honest and I, I can't lie. So the things I'm telling you, if you want, if you like truth, I'm going to tell you the truth from as far as I can tell and without, um, without going off into these weird thought processes that are going to fuck your mind up and, and lead you off the path. I want you to stay strong on the path. I want your legs to be well worked out. I want you to be consistent. And that's why I'm here every day. I'm going to go surfing for a couple days. I might not put up a video um, or I might put, I might make them, but I won't be able to download because I won't have good internet access. And it's hard to download a video when you're out on the, um, in the campsite. So I'll be back. I'm going to look up some script scriptures on infiltrators and, um, traitors in general. I'll be back. Shalom.